In this video, I'll compare the Bernie Doodle and Labradoodle. In selecting between two doodles, more than just appearance is necessary to consider. You also want to compare in depth how these dogs will fit into your life. How these dogs mesh with family and work dynamics, along with what you want from your dog, are essential factors. Origins The most significant point of comparison when contrasting any two breeds is their origin. Doodles are canines that share a progenitor with the poodle. But, the other half are all different in their own way. Bernie Doodle Origins An example could be that the Bernie Doodle is a breed that is half Bernese Mountain Dog. These behemoths were herders and farm workers in the Swiss Alps. The first purposely bred Bernie Doodle originated at Swiss Ridge Kennels. There's some debate about the exact date of this first, but credit goes to them. They intentionally bred back in 2003 and have since created a breed standard. Labradoodles Origins Labradoodles, conversely, are half Labrador retrievers. Labradoodles are great hunting dogs and have passed down their hunting qualities and other good qualities to their offspring. The first Labradoodle was bred to be a reasonable guide dog in 1989 that would be hypoallergenic. Successful and intelligent, the cross is also loyal. It was not long before these doodles became an international sensation. Temperament Next, we are going to contrast the temperaments of the Bernie Doodle and Labradoodle. The temperament of puppies generally reflects what can be expected based on their genetics. This is not to be confused with personality. Personality has a lot of environmental factors that differ from dog to dog. Bernie Doodle Temperament The Bernie Doodle temperament is a no-stop party. They are energetic and playful dogs who love to play more than anything. The puppies have been known to chase, but seldom get out of control and will not bite without provocation. They are social and will be vocal with their excitement for meeting new people or playing with family members. Labradoodle Temperament Labradoodles can be an amazing pet if you have the time and energy to devote to them. They are affectionate, intelligent, energetic, and playful creatures that require a lot of attention and care. These dogs also love to go on a walk or run around the house with their owners but they get bored if they're left in one place for too long. So these dogs have a temperament that requires interaction with their owners to keep them entertained and happy. Exercise Needs Labradoodles Exercise Needs Because Labradoodles have such a high energy level, they require a lot of exercise, you will need to devote at least an hour each day. Luckily, Labradoodles also enjoy going on long walks and running around the house with their owners. This makes it easy to meet their exercise needs. The absence of playtime for your Labradoodle can lead to bad habits like chewing, digging, and escaping. Bernie Doodle Exercise Needs Bernie Doodles are okay with a moderate level of exercise. To meet their exercise needs, you should walk with them every day for at least 30 to 45 minutes. Labradoodles are known for their energetic pursuit of fun. Bernadoodles are a little more laid back and love to explore with you. Everywhere you go, your Bernie Doodle will wish to be right beside you. It's not uncommon to witness them doing outdoor activities their owners love. Training Labradoodle Training Labradoodles are easy to train, however, because of their intelligence, these dogs can sometimes challenge their owners. They're very smart and because they love to please people they will try out every trick in the book to get attention. Training a Labradoodle is often a game of wits where the dog tries to figure out what their owner wants from them and then does it. The best time to train a dog is when they're young. They tend to be shy and stubborn later in life. Bernie Doodle Training Bernie Doodles are easy to train because they're intelligent. They are energetic, quick to learn and eager to please. In most cases, female dogs are easier to train than male dogs. This is partly because it's difficult for male dogs to focus and take instruction, and also because they mature faster. Coat Types Labradoodle Coat Types Labradoodles can have either straight, wavy, curly coat types. Curly coats are more hypoallergenic because they do not shed easily. Wavy coats are considered less shedding, as opposed to the straight and curly coats. If you are searching for a hypoallergenic doodle, the straight-haired leaner is not for you. These varieties of straight-haired dogs shed hair as much as any other short-haired dog. Labradoodles come in a variety of colors too, similar to their parents. Bernadoodle's Coat Types One characteristic of the Bernie Doodle is that its coat takes the form of various textures, including wavy and straight. These are dogs with low shedding rates that usually have longer hair. Bernadoodles tend to be a combination of black, white and brown. And occasionally, you might come in possession of a Bernie Doodle with all three colors. Grooming Labradoodle Grooming Labradoodles are easy to maintain because they do not shed much. 
Labradoodles need to be groomed at least once a month, and should be bathed when necessary. Labradoodles should also be brushed regularly as it helps them keep their coat in shape, clean and healthy. Bernie Doodle Grooming Bernie Doodles need regular grooming at home, and need to be professionally groomed every 6 to 8 weeks. Professional grooming is often necessary to keep hair neat, clean, and free of tangles. Frequency will vary depending on the amount of hair growth. Brushing, combing, and bathing your pet between groomer visits is essential for the health of their coat. Mats can be painful and damaging because they trap dirt and bacteria. Size and Lifespan Labradoodle Size and Lifespan Labradoodles can be scaled from standard sized, to medium and mini size. A standard Labradoodle is just 50 to 65 pounds. Medium-sized Labradoodles will grow up to be 30 to 45 pounds. This is great if you don't have a large home or small children. And a miniature Labradoodle only reaches about 15 to 25 pounds, perfect for apartment life. Labradoodles usually live between 12 to 16 years. Bernie Doodle Size and Lifespan Bernie Doodles come in three different sizes to suit every family, standard, miniature, and tiny. The enormous canines could grow up to 90 pounds, which is much higher than Labradoodles. These dogs are not good for small spaces. However, a mini-sized Bernie Doodle might fare better in smaller residences. Mini Bernie Doodles grow to be about 25 to 40 pounds. They're a good size for homes that don't have big backyards. Finally, the tiny Bernie Doodle is only 10 to 25 pounds. These doodles are a great option for apartment dogs. They need lots of exercise and time outside to walk. The standard Bernie Doodle can live up to 16 years. Miniature Bernie Doodles will usually live for 12 years. Medical Concerns Labradoodle Health Labradoodles are a mixed breed, and this mix often leads to health conditions shared by both breeds. Be careful who you buy from if you want your dog to have the best chance of a healthy life. These can suffer from hip and elbow dysplasia, an eye disease called progressive retinal atrophy, and von Willebrand's disease, a bleeding disorder. Bernie Doodle Health Bernadoodles are usually very healthy dogs. Some illnesses that are present are hip and elbow dysplasia, eye illness, and skin disease. These diseases may run a particularly virulent course if you do not know what to look out for. But if you catch it early, you can save a lot of future misery. Cost Labradoodle cost Labradoodles cost between $1,000 to $3,000 depending on the size and color. Labradoodles are common, so there is no lack thereof. The wait for Labradoodles is usually short so you can get your dream dog in a few months. Bernadoodles cost Bernadoodles can range from $2,500 to $5,000 depending on size and color. Some of the more popular Bernadoodle color variations are more expensive. This is due to their rarity and the long waiting list. The Bernadoodle price can also rise if you live in an area without breeders. It is helpful to bear in mind that this is just the price of the puppy and does not incorporate any purchases. The cost of a puppy doesn't stop at just the price of the pet. You also need to factor in the cost of supplies before getting started. In conclusion, the Bernie Doodle and the Labradoodle are both fabulous to have. Each has a variety of features which are loved by anyone desiring to bring them into their house. These doodles are a few of the most fervent and loving creatures to ever. And while they do have some things in common, they couldn't be any more different. If you are considering getting any of these breeds, let us know in the comments.